Good morning, folks. Feels a bit like the calm before the storm. No big quakes, but we had minor volcanic eruptions in Costa Rica yesterday. Oklahoma continues to see moderate earthquakes, and they had a tornado touchdown last night. April is rough for tornadoes. This article describes some of the weather patterns in this month that make it so dangerous. We have more tornadoes expected for this weekend. Last night, Chad Myers on CNN said as many as 100 tornadoes could happen this evening. This is the area on watch, and I also suggest you check out Torcon regularly. This will probably be updated within the hour and multiple times throughout the day. Remember that the higher number here correlates with the stronger chance for tornadoes and severe weather. Watch just off the west coast here. This low pressure system swirled around in the Pacific for a few days and then got pushed inland real hard. What you saw there was this blue low pressure system just bursting into the lower 48. Tonight you want to look for dangerous weather along this blue-red pressure borderline. Having a look at two weeks of solar wind data, you know that we are in a serious coronal hole stream right now with very fast solar wind speed. You can see on the three-day data that the spikes have smoothed a bit, indicating that we are past halftime in the show. You can see a mild decline here on the ACE solar wind data. The yellow is the speed, but we are still way up over 500 kilometers per second. Ovation Prime does show a slight easing of particle bombardment in the last few hours, although we are certainly far from quiet electrostatically. Looking at the sun, we have the Earth footprint near an active region and some magnetic filaments in Earth-facing positions. Let's hope those stay stable. Remember folks, the quake watch is on and it peaks when the solar wind speed drops near 400 or 300 kilometers per second. It's when the energy equalization poses the biggest induction threat, similar to the massive gas giant that sits in the midnight position directly behind us. We're on the road today, but I hope to get you guys a full planetary position video for the coming two months at some point this weekend. Eyes open. That's the news, folks. Be safe.